Red Skull. He's the final villain in the game, and rightly so. He's unbelievably difficult to beat, and he is going to be the culmination of every single game of Hail Hydra. If New York City ever reaches zero on this card, Hydra wins, even if you have defeated Red Skull. He's got 13 health, and he also has six damage every single turn, and he also has a quick attack and defense. The defense actually works into the quick attack. With his power all hail, any revealed Hydra agents are able to make a choice in the beginning of every single offensive. They could forego giving or stealing attack cards to give Red Skull a defense instead. So say for example, these two Hydra agents are giving uh, Red Skull two defense. They would each give him one instead of giving or stealing attack cards on this round, which effectively reduces his safe range for the Cosmic Cube penalty. Okay, so what, what is the Cosmic Cube penalty? It's a little confusing, so I'm gonna treat this as an example. So say for example, in the first offensive, you hurt Red Skull six hearts. In this second offensive, your team's attack ends up being four plus four plus four plus three, which is a grand total of 15. The Cosmic Cube penalty states, any additional damage five above Red Skull's remaining health will directly damage the city that amount. It's basically an overkill penalty. So imagine if Red Skull didn't have any defense here. He's got a safe range of five, so any damage above five, above his remaining health, directly damages the city. So his safe range goes up to 12 here. If you do more than 12 damage, he's directly damaging the city. So this damage right here would be three, because 15 minus 12 is, is three. So you'd go one, two, and you defeated the city, Hydra wins. Or if you were at six, you would do one, two, three, and you would have killed him and won the game. If he had defense, however, Defense eats away at the safe range that you have. The safe range still only goes up to 12. It just is eating that safe range away. So if you had only done eight damage without the defense, you would have killed him because he only had seven health left. But with the defense, the defense gets hit first at that eight and you do six damage to him. He's got one health left and he uses six damage on the city. City is destroyed. Plus, you would do an extra two damage because there's two Hydra agents revealed. So even if you had eight health left as the city, it would have been toast. So this guy is particularly brutal. If you are Hydra, you might want to give him a defense when the city life is pretty low. If city life is up near 17 or higher, which is rare, but it happens, I recommend still giving away one or two attack cards or stealing attack cards from unsuspecting shield agents to eat away at their potential blue cards that they could play on the Red Skull. Thank you.